Hey everybody, Steve Ritter. So I thought I'd take you all along with me today. I uh, did a little grocery shopping. So I, I went out to the grocery store nearby a car for. Thought I'd take you all along with me. I hope you don't mind. Some uh, interesting things here. So walking in, here's the mall. And uh, yes, that's a Krispy Kreme. Very nice. And uh, that's the car for. So it is, they do celebrate Christmas over here, which is it's, it's kind of interesting to see get used to but uh, they go all out as you can see plenty of Christmas trees for sale oh look at that yuletide log going on the computer screen <laughs> Santa Claus is everywhere not too many nativity scenes imagine that so uh, there's a $150 fake tree and there's real trees uh, there at the checkout so you can get you one there um, just a little few of the things. This coffee I like to get. Um, a few of the items you can see. This uh, they they've got plenty of stuff here at this place. Oil and all that. I just kept on walking through that. I didn't need any of that stuff. But it's a big. It's like a giant super Walmart. Lots of ketchups. They have uh, stuff called mayo ketchup. There's a U.S. ketchup. I'm not sure what why that's different than the other ketchup. But but they sell mayonnaise with ketchup. They like that mixed together. There's lentils. Lots of lentils. And uh, this is spices. Some folks were asking about spices. A lot of Indian spices. A lot of curries. Um, and just bags and bags of them. Uh, all kind of uh, uh, beans and um, different uh, spices. Stuff I've never heard of before. But a lot of Indian food. A lot of Indian cooks. Um, Middle Eastern flavors. You can see all the spices. There's a ton of them. That's all spices. And, and rice. So I, I'm kind of partial to the jasmine, the Thai rice. This is um, bismati rice, which uh, they use a lot in uh, Indian cooking. Uh, lots of bismati rice. Lots and lots of rice. Eat a lot of rice over here too, as most of the world does. Scheherazade, anybody know who that is? She's the one that told the stories uh, about Sinbad. So I'll stop here to get my lunch for the week, so I think I'm going to go with that. That looks pretty good. And it goes. Lots of choices there. Ramen noodles, yep. So they got like a section there with different cultural foods. So Philippines, lots and lots of uh, Filipino food and spices and items. There's some Lebanon potato chips. I didn't know they liked potato chips so much in Lebanon, but I guess they do. There's some, uh, even Russian food. Just trying not to get this guy in the screen here, the Russian guy. But uh, fish and different Russian type foods. And you got uh, Italian fettuccine, French food. There you go. Sweets, and then uh, UK. What we got here? Lots of jellies and stuff. Looks like. And then we got USA. What do they got here for the USA? What represents us? Ragu sauce and fruit roll-ups. Mm. And then lots of Mexican food, which I, I, there's not too many Mexican restaurants around here. That's interesting to me. They'd have. So I saw this, I'm like, biscuits? Huh, I know all about biscuits. Well, it's English biscuits. And that's kind of what they call, the English call biscuits, uh, like, like cookies and stuff. They, they drink with tea. And coated biscuit, what's up with that? Well. There you go, chocolate covered. These are all the things that they eat with uh, with their tea. Ah, oh, my favorite, Ritter Sports. Pretty sure I'm related to the guy that started that company, I, I think. So lots of chocolate, you can see. I was looking for the camel milk chocolate. I could not find it. But I did get some of that. I'm going to do a separate video on uh, tasting some of that. I couldn't wait to taste it. So chocolate covered dates with the uh, nuts inside. Lots of coffee. I like their coffee here too. A lot of Italian coffee. 
and uh, lots of coffee. Peanut butter, hmm, not too many choices. Then they have this other stuff that's, uh, I'm not sure what it is. It's a different, uh, different kind of, different nuts. This pistachio is mixed in that. And uh, all they got is this one kind of peanut butter. You see, I don't think most people know what that is anywhere outside the U.S. You, I remember having the hardest time getting some in, uh, in Germany outside of the base, of course. And then there's uh, some Nutella, which is like chocolate. Uh, it's like peanut butter, except it's chocolate with nuts. And, you know, it's, it's good. That's Will's uh, favorite. So. And, of course, with the bread influence, lots and lots and lots of tea, as you can see. So. And then they have cream with it, too, which is a Brit thing, because they put milk and cream inside in their tea, which actually kind of cuts the bitterness. So, lots of nuts. The pistachios here are better than anywhere you can get in the States, I find. They're, they're pretty good. They're a little smaller and more flavorful. This is a uh, milk, I think. Yeah, I think that's milk. It's like hyper pasteurized. Here's the meat section. As you can see New Zealand, Australian beef. That's mostly where they get their beef from, I think. Some Brazil, too. But uh, price is, uh, I guess it's comparable. Maybe a little bit more to what you can get in the US. That's um, lamb. Lamb chops, lots of lamb, and then you or you, you get it cut right off. I guess that uh, they're seasoning it there. I suppose you get the whole thing if you wanted. There's some steaks, big old ribeyes. There's a good old tomahawk steak. Very nice. Didn't see any camel. Lots of seafood here. This the big seafood. Lots of different kind of fish. You can see it's fresh every day. You catch it right out of the uh, Arabian Gulf. Yeah, that's barracuda. Strange. I, I never heard of eating barracuda, but I guess you can, and they like it. Lots of barracuda. Those the prices there in Durham. Uh, so it's about three to a dollar, or something like that. A little less than three to a dollar. Durham's to the dollar. That's a U.S. dollar. Shrimp. Lots of salmon, fresh salmon. Well, it's from Norway. This is the produce section. That's, uh, I've never seen anything like that. It looks like it could be alive there. Lots of potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Chestnuts, yes. Those are good. Can't get those in the U.S. or you can, I guess, but it's kind of rough. Germany, I remember picking them all the time, walking around the forest, the season for them. This is pretty cool. This is um, all kind of different nuts all around. It's pretty cool. You can go. Somebody works behind the counter there, and they'll get them for you. Very nice. And that's spices, curry powder. Lots of nuts, just just piles of spices and beans and nuts, curry. I think there's some hot pepper there. I think that's what that is, chili pepper. I tried to make some of that in a chili one time. I remember Will, uh, poor guy, couldn't eat it, man. It was too hot. I couldn't even eat it. It was it's pretty uh, scalding hot, chemically, I guess, hot. And then here's dates. So again, I'm gonna try some of those. All kind of different varieties. I didn't know that there were that many, but there are. Some are a little lighter, some are darker. And then they stuff them with nuts, like almonds and uh, pistachios. They'll kind of cut them open, cut the seed out, put nuts in them. But varying prices for the quality, and then there's like date. I think that's stuff the jars were date jelly, I think. But you can get box sets of dates. Lots of dates see the stuff on there we just saw and yeah, it's like date jelly and, uh, this is pretty cool this is honey different flavors of honey infused with rose oil some of them are mango cream and I think that one's the mango cream there I think 
lemon, all kind of flavored, accented honeys from all over. Pretty cool. Different countries. That's where they're from. And that you just go and they dip it out for you in a jar. That's kind of cool. And then there's different kind of oils that you can get as well. Olive oil and lemon oil. Wow, we, we went into slow-mo here. I just got to watch uh, which buttons I push on this phone. <laughs> uh -oh. So there's uh, olive oils and lemon oil and... There's your, uh, your extra virgin olive oil there. Different uh, types and styles. Very nice. Just in case you wanted to really pause and look at the oil. <laughs> yeah, let me shorten this up. All right, so we got, uh, yeah, there it is, the mint lemon juice. I like that stuff. Here's the pro some more produce. The citrus. Lots of citrus. Boy, that's good looking. Good looking oranges, lemons, limes from all over. Grapefruit. Apples. Produce look real good. I'm sure they have it coming in all the time. Here's the uh, kind of the prepared food section where you get lunch and all. Now this is uh, like the uh, shawarmas. This is a shawarma. Here's a guy cutting the meat off. So it, so the silver thing behind it is the uh, where it roasts it. And it basically just keeps spinning around and they just come along and cut the meat off as it, as it roasts. It looks like he's kind of cutting the, uh, the extra done stuff down. Getting it the uh, less cooked stuff. That's a shawarma. This um, some of the they love the yogurt here. Love yogurt. Lots of yogurt. Um, one of the things I'm going to try is a labna, which is a um, yogurt that's really had the juice strained out of it. It's like uh, even more firm than uh, than Greek yogurt. Uh, kind of the cold section. Here's um, the meats. You got um, it's all turkey, turkey stuff and chicken, sausages and turkey sausages and beef. There's no obviously there's no pork here, so no pork-based stuff there. So anyway, I uh, hope you I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour and. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to do another video trying all this stuff. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care.